Sheet Molding Compound, SMC, is a natural shape forming material, ideally suited for hot compression molding. The material flows evenly and accurately throughout the mold cavity, resulting in a precision form without voids or hollows. At Stalen, SMC is used to mold the bases and mating covers of diverse world-class enclosures. When combined with a two-part tongue and groove urethane gasket, an environmentally sealed system will be created. Stalen's molding capabilities include multiple presses of varying sizes, from 250 tons to 1,000 tons. The capacity of the press determines the type of products that will be produced from it. The largest of Stalen's presses, 1,000 ton press, produces enclosure sizes 48 inches by 36 inches. There are four key elements to the molding process. Pressure, heat, time, and an appropriate molding material, such as sheet molding compound. Before dyes are even brought to the press, they are warmed to 320 degrees by an oil preheater so that when they are loaded into the press, it saves on setup time. It allows the operator to change the dye quicker and resume production. A key component of the press is an oil heater contained in the beige structure alongside each press. The oil heater heats the mold to an operating temperature that actually starts the chemical process of the setting of the sheet molding material. The compound is cut and precisely weighed. The result is called the mold charge. Each cycle in the molding process is preceded by expelling particulate from the mold. The insertion of brass inserts to be molded directly into the enclosure form and the placement of the mold charge in a position that will allow material to flow under time, heat and pressure. The amount of material designed into the charge is in excess of the amount needed to produce one complete shape. This results in extraneous material called flash which indicates that sufficient material was available to fill the complete mold through the time cycle. Flash is quickly and easily trimmed away from the edges of the new molded product, and the enclosure is now available for several other post-mold modifications. Six steps follow the removal of the new molded product from the mold. They include 1. Box curing, which includes a squared metal frame that is placed over the complete assembly. This ensures that the sides have remained square through the process of removal from the mold. All edges are checked for smoothness. A first visual inspection is performed. Each product is stamped at this point, indicating the date, operator, press, and material used. Three, next the internal panel mount inserts are tapped. Four, mounting screw holes must be drilled and tapped for the mounting feet. Five, brass inserts are threaded. And six, a final quality control check is performed to assure proper hole spacing and sidewall squareness. The resulting product is now stacked and prepared for further finishing. The press operator begins the process again, blowing out the mold, weighing the charges, setting the inserts, positioning the charge, cycling the press, forming the post-molding operations on the next enclosure. Accessories are molded in similar fashion, but smaller objects are usually produced in multi-piece cavities. In the case of mounting feet, four individual feet are molded simultaneously. Molds are changeable in the presses and cannot be used all at once. Molds are stored and maintained in the mold bank until they can be cycled through the eight various presses. The mold represents one of manufacturing's greatest expenses. Therefore, diligent attention is paid to their care and maintenance. That care is provided in-house by the mold maintenance staff.